Voodoo 6, a particularly good channel, has been terminated by False DMCA. There will be many people who will be eager to believe that the filing was done by Shock of God. But rather than making assumptions based on appearances, we need to remain skeptical, and this is why. While the filing appears to come from Shock of God, the YouTube DMCA form permits completely arbitrary information in the filer ID field. You can enter any name you like. You can even enter the name of the account owner himself to make it appear as though the account owner has DMCA'd himself. A DMCA is a federal court file. It is an official government document. It requires va valid ID. YouTube set up its DMCA form to skirt responsibility for accepting only valid and accountable claims. While filing in a knowingly false government document is a federal crime, YouTube has made it impossible to prosecute that crime because it requires no verifiable ID of the filer. It is a simple matter to nip down to the coffee shop and use the access point or bounce the filing through a proxy, making it difficult and ex extremely unlikely that the ID of the filer will ever be known with certainty or a certainty that will withstand scrutiny in court. That means that anyone can, for any reason, and without properly identifying themselves, file an official document without e-notary or so much as a photo ID. They can claim to be anyone, and they can claim to be anywhere. Why is this a really stupid idea? Because it designs a denial-of-service exploit into YouTube. Any channel can be attacked and removed by anyone without recourse. YouTube has left the door open for scripted exploits. YouTube has been aware of this for years, but rather than simply require a digital signature from a notary, they continue to permit trolls and vandals to control their site content. This does a few th other things as well, which are even more unsavory. In order to file a counterclaim, one must sacrifice one's anonymity. You have to turn your correct personal information over to an anonymous filer. That means that YouTube DMCA form can be used to collect someone's personal information. The only way around this is to use a third-party agent to file the counterclaim. This means that you either have, have to know someone willing to have their own docs pasted up by trolls, or it means paying someone to represent you. YouTube has placed the burden on the account holder to defend his own work against frivolous DMCA files. This not only hurts the account holder, but it hurts the reputation of the person named as the filer. While I have never known Shock of God to have any reservations about being dishonest in his arguments, it does not necessarily follow that he is willing to possibly face prison time for filing a fraudulent government document. The likelihood is that the filing was done in his name, done for him by his express or implied request, or done by him through an internet connection which can never be personally identified. This will likely lead to retaliation against Shock of God, which will likely lead to additional retaliation snowballing into a maze of dead accounts and anger. This is not the fault of the DMCA. While it is arguably a faulty document, all of this is due entirely and only to YouTube's import implementation of the DMCA form allowing it to be filed anonymously. I urge those who are concerned with this issue on both sides to not begin another DMCA filing war. We've lost enough content to YouTube's abject failure already. I do, however, encourage everyone who values their opinion and the ability to express it in the YouTube venue to make some noise. If you want your favorite video blogging site to be reduced to 31 flavors of plain vanilla 
bland, banal, insipid, and uncontroversial, then all you have to do is ignore the situation. If, however, you would like to see this policy changed and make YouTube understand that it's due for a change in its DMCA policy, to bring it up to compliance with generally accepted practice for filing of legal claims, then I urge you to speak up before you no longer are able to speak at all.